Yo, yo, uh, you thought I was gonna say it. The main problem with vlogging outside is that it's windy, so again, I apologize if you can't hear me very well. For those of you that don't know, I'm going to VidCon this year. I'm actually volunteering at VidCon. Uh, I wanted to make a video of that today, but I have a lot to say and I don't really have much time right now, so I'm going to make this video a lot quicker. I got a message in my YouTube inbox from Daniel McGriffiths, or I don't know if that's your last name. I'm terrible with names, so don't take offense to that. Uh, my roommate has a friend that came over almost every day, and I just forgot her name one day. And I've been working with the same people, and sometimes their names kind of slip my mind and I forget. I'm just bad with names. I'm great with faces. I'm awesome with faces. I'll recognize someone um, from kindergarten walking down the street. I'm like, ah, I went to kindergarten with that person. But names? Pfft. Nah. Anyways, we're friends on YouTube and he makes videos as well. He's uh, fairly new so he asked me if uh, he, he could get a few tips or tricks about vlogging and I've been vlogging for three or four years and I still think I have a long way to go but uh, I'll give you my two cents about it. When you're first starting out, don't take it super seriously. Kind of just introduce yourself, kind of tell people what you're about, what your likes or dislikes are. What you're really trying to do is kind of find your thing, find what your passion is and speak with passion. Don't just kind of get on camera and say, um, well, I'm uh, Mike, I'm uh, 24 years old. Uh, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, I like watching TV. Like who what who doesn't want like watching TV, all right? Like uh, it, that's fine if it's your first video or whatever. But my suggestion is to speak about what your passions are because the thing about youtubers who get really good the really good vloggers they speak with passion they have like like I'm talking right now they use gestures they use their facial expressions and they're really into it and they're actually passionate about passionate about what they're talking about don't look at big youtubers and copy them your favorite youtubers you could be inspired by them and maybe even do some of their tricks, like uh, some of their editing tricks to get, to get some practice in. But don't use that as a basis for what you're going to do. You should be able to find your thing. It might take a while, it might take some practice, but make sure to keep in mind to be yourself. So if you see like topics on YouTube a lot about a certain subject that seems to be getting a lot of popularity and you see some of your favorite YouTubers talking about the news or something, um, if you don't like the news personally, don't do it just because it's popular, I guess, because it, it's going to come across, you're, you're not, it's, you're either going to get bored of it or people aren't going to see the passion. So I'd personally start out, if, if this is your first video, you're just starting out, introducing yourself, but introducing what you're passionate about. What makes up what, who you are. When you're talking to your friends, your best friends, and you're really excited about something, what do you talk about? Like, um, what are your favorite things to do? What are your favorite hobbies? What is, like, like just, Figure out what your passions are and, and start with that, I guess, is is what I'm trying to say. Like, if you're really into politics and you like to speak your opinions with people, then share your opinions on YouTube. If that's not your thing and you see a lot of people talking about politics, then just don't. Um, don't, don't worry about fitting in, just do your own thing. And people like uniqueness and originality, so you don't have to kind of do the same thing everyone else is. Kind of what, what you should do is find out what makes you unique and what makes you, you. So this wind's getting bad and I gotta get to work so I hope this at least gives you a little bit of insight. I haven't talked a whole lot but that's my basic message 
find out what makes you you speak with passion and and don't try too hard to be something that you're not don't try to copy people too much you could be inspired and and copy some tricks and tips that you that you think you think are good don't do it if, if you don't really agree with it that's almost like the same level as a sellout you're not really selling out but don't do something that you yourself don't really like which is which is pretty common sense all right so um yeah peace oh yeah and one more thing check out daniel's channel in the description below Hey McDonald's, McDonald's can burn. I want to work behind a bar like I used to. Ideally with Chinese people, because they're so hot and interesting. Mmm, Chinese. Ah. I should really lay off the coffee.